Hello and welcome to the Food Science and Nutrition Level 3 course. My name is Mrs Rawlings. The course specification that we'll be following is the WJEC Level 3 Diploma in Food Science and Nutrition. So if you have a look online, you can see a detailed specification of this course. This is the book we'll be working on for the first year of the course, so could you please purchase a copy when you know for definite that you have got your place with us. This shows the structure of the qualification. In the first year, we just focus on Unit 1, which is meeting nutritional needs of specific groups. So the aims and purposes of Unit 1 is for you to develop an understanding of the nutritional needs of specific target groups, and then to plan and cook complex dishes to meet their nutritional needs. So to do this, you'll learn about different types of nutrients and how they are used by the body to ensure that you can plan a nutritious diet. You'll develop skills for preparing, cooking and presenting nutritious dishes that meet specific needs. So you'll be building on your learning at Key Stage 4. Your mark for this, Unit 1, is 50% is awarded for a time-controlled assessment. This involves theory and some practical work. And 50% of your mark is awarded for a 90-minute exam, which is scheduled for the 7th of June next year. For each learning outcome, there's then some more detailed information. This is information about learning outcome two to understand the properties of nutrients. And what we're going to look at today is complementary actions of nutrients, which you have most likely heard of during your GCSE work. So to do well with the coursework and with the exam, it's very important that you have a really good understanding of some key terms. So join the beginning of the course and throughout the course, we will regularly recap key terms and make sure that you have a really good understanding. Today, we're going to look at the term nutrient complementation. So what I would like you to do is read the following information slides and then complete the task set. Please email me your work when you've completed it. If you're handwriting it, that's fine. If you could email me a photo of it um, so I can see what you've done, that would be very helpful. So the key term is complementary interactions. So this is the ways in which nutrients and other natural substances in foods all work together in very complex chemical reactions to maintain the body and health. So these are your tasks that I would like you to complete. If you could also have a go at the stretch and challenge task on the next page as well, add as much detail as you possibly can. And if you need to look things up, such as a nutrients table, then use the internet or any books that you may have to do that. Thank you for joining me. If you need any support with anything, then please email me and I'll help with any questions that you may have. And I look forward to meeting you all in August.